Welcome back everybody, it's time to lock down some MTGO popper slivers and we are back after uh, a little bit of a break, a week long break while my wife and I gave birth to our third child over the weekend. Kept up the content, thank goodness. Uh, so I appreciate you guys hanging in uh, with me while I put up some less than recent content but uh, some pre-recorded content. Now I'm back to kind of the daily schedule or at least I hope. You know, work with me a little bit. Still have a new baby at the house, so it's going to be a little tough, but uh, I found some time late at night here before I pass out to play some popper slivers. I just put up the deck tech for the new setup and the new uh, cards we have in here, so should be interesting to see how it plays out, and I am liking this hand, so we will keep this. See if he mulligans or not. <clears throat> All right, cool. Sidewinder it is. Forgive me if I am playing a little bit weak today because... Uh, it's been a minute since I've played, and it is boiling up here in my draw card. Okay, sure. So we're going against new snow-covered island stuff? Okay. Interesting. So yeah, it's boiling up here right now, so I'm like sweating, and uh, it's not pretty. Uh, but we will continue to drop our lords and start swinging in here. Start playing a little bit faster. There we go. Arkham's Astrolab. Uh, yeah, so I don't really know what we're going up against. Tron? Okay. I was, I was going to say, maybe this is uh, some version of Tron since we're playing Artifacts. Definitely Tron, obviously. Or is this mine? Saying the obvious here. All right, we're going to need to bring in some artifact tape. Well, we can start giving ourselves some protection here, which is good. And they are in for some hurt. Tron is just a little too slow for Sliver, so I'm pretty confident in these games. But yeah, if I can try to commentate a little bit while I'm playing here, while they do whatever they need to try to do to find Tron... Uh, just had my third kid, crazy weekend, super tired, but I really want to try to remain consistent with my uploads, but uh, everything went good, mom is healthy, baby is healthy, um, and uh, yeah, everything went really good, we were stuck in the hospital for not a crazy amount of time, just a few days, uh, she went through a c-section, so she's on the mend right now and getting better, healing up, uh, but everything went went good and actually I cannot uh, turn off auto yields because I want to make sure we have protection. Mole Drifter? Sure. Go ahead and draw your cards buddy. Do not care. We have lethal so you are pretty much dead. Come on. Discarding a card. Let's go to game two. Let's do this thing. Let's see if he just auto leaves the uh, auto leaves, but auto concedes here. We've got lethal. Yep. All right. Sideboard time. All right. Natural state coming in. Uh. Some lands. Let's take out one of our sentinels. And let's take out one of our benevolent bodyguards. We don't really need him. We don't need a lot of protection here. In fact, we could. Got plenty of journeys. We could get rid of benevolent bodyguard completely, almost, I feel like. Maybe this is too many journeys, too. Maybe we just need to... Yeah, we'll keep in Sentinel. We need to be creature-heavy. We need to just outpace him. Let's do it like that. Okay. One lander, huh? We cannot keep this, unfortunately. Mulligan. 
We'll keep this. This is good. Do we need this land? No. We're already a turn behind with Blossoming Sands. Sure, yield through this turn. Spinneret doesn't help us much here. Alright, they get like an extra turn off of us, which isn't ideal. Don't really like that. They're uh, popping off a little bit. Getting their expeditions and astrolabs. Alright, how do we want to run this? I think we're going to go for the Lord plan here. Just start putting them out there, get as much damage in early as possible. Pass it back. Mm. Alright, well, they get Tron next turn, which isn't good. We need our artifact tape. Winding Way, there she is. Pretty cool. Uh, we're not going to use it yet. We're just going to keep lording it out. Search for your land. I'm going to tap my stuff. Kind of forgot they had all their mana up, so they might be trying to do something here. I don't know, they're just searching. See, I told you guys, I'm, I'm playing a little bit off. I'm not thinking straight tonight. I'm boiling up here, and it's late, and I'm sleep-deprived. So now I'm a dad of three. I'm making excuses, but I don't care. Uh, you'll do this turn. Do what you need to do, guys. Tron online. We've got answers, though. If they drop a horror or something, we can get rid of it. Draw cards. Fine by me. All right, back to us. Okay. I think it's time we winding away and see how good this card is here. Creature. Did we bust completely there? Yep. That sucks. That is unfortunate. Alright, well, we'll play our plated. All we can really do now. Mm, maybe we should have held up vines actually there, but. Let's see. Are they going to do anything here? No. Okay. Then all damage. Fine. That was sideboarded in, wasn't it? Well, hopefully we can draw into a lord. Really start putting some hurt on next turn. Winding way worked uh, not how we wanted it to, but I like the mana efficient. That would have taken our whole turn. We wouldn't have been able to drop any other creatures if it was lead the stampede. So just the fact that we could drop a one drop down there. Uh, all right, so they can return peace back to their hand, which is unfortunate. We can get rid of this wall, but it's not going to matter too much. Setting up their barricade. It's gonna get interesting soon. Hmm, Sentinel's actually pretty good. Let's just go ahead and drop our Sentinel. Uh, 
yeah, I don't really want to remove the wall yet. We will next turn if we need to. But we'll just swing in here. And they can do their protection spell again. And we can hold up vines just in case. Not going to use it yet? Where are you? Turn those. Okay. He's going to come back. He's going to get some more card draws and return some things back to his hand. So he's comboing off pretty nicely here. Oh, we do get to sneak in a little bit of damage. Right? Or is it only two for the other one? Okay, we do get to sneak in some damage. Sorry, I'm not completely familiar with some of these Tron combos. Just wanted to make sure I wasn't missing anything. They've got a crap load of mana now. Seven cards in hand. Six life. Ugh, that's annoying. So, if they tap out a little bit more here, we are going to take out the wall. I don't want them to keep comboing that with ghostly flicker and stuff. Passing it back. If I try to take this wall, are they going to be able to flicker it? I think they're going to be able to flicker it. Hmm. sure where to really go from here. I'm just going to swing in. If they let some damage through, we could always double vines. Kick the vines. So we could, you know what we could do, if they do end up doing the ghostly flicker technique thingy, which they are, we are going to journey it second main phase now that they're tapped out. They'll get their little combo thing this turn, but we'll get the wall off the battlefield and uh, hopefully turn them off a little bit. What are you doing? Okay, now he's going to prevent damage. Okay. Let's get that out of here. See if that helps our cause. You'll do this turn, do what you need to do. Mm-hmm. Let's be 
Expedition. Cracking it. Why not? Throw another Urza's Tower down. Not feeling too confident. We got a lot of power, but they can do so much. And they have so many cards in hand. If they had less cards, if they had like three or less cards in hand, I'd, I'd be like, yeah, it's fine. But they have so many cards and so much mana. I don't know if they're just trying to draw into their bombs, but... If they're just trying to play patience. See what they do here. Mole Drifter. Keep drawing your cards. Come on. Flicker and back, okay. Such cool combo. I've actually never seen like this combo in Tron before. It's pretty cool. Ten cards in hand. Oh my gosh. Starting to get tapped out though. We need a lord to have a lethal. We we've got we can put him to one right now, but we're not quite there. Well, we can vines, but they can block with Mall Drifter. I'm just spewing nonsense at 12 o'clock at night in an overheated room. Alright. Gain three life. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, that's nasty. That is nasty. It's a good thing we got this wall off the battlefield for now, so they can't just keep bringing that back to hand. It's not exactly what we want. Let's just swing. Poison this is gonna get you eventually. Which is nice. Forgot we had our poisonous out. That's actually gonna be the thing that wins us this game over all that life gain if we can protect it. Oh the wall. Gosh dang it. Not pretty. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, let's see what they can do here. I don't know what they brought back to their hand, but all we can do is just attack in, really. See what they want to do. Prevent all. Okay. Trying 
trying to watch what they're pulling back to their hand. Let's show me on the chat side. Ball drifter. It's tough. They're doing so much work. They're running out of time though. They need to speed up. 12 minutes left. It's long game two. At least they're putting up a fight. Yep, ghostly flicker. Here we go. And they're bringing back peace, which is unfortunate. How do we deal with this? What do we need? We need like another... Another journey to take this wall off again? Basically, right? I mean, the game's not over, right? They're not like in an infinite state. We can still interact with their board if we draw into it. Maybe I'm mistaken, but I feel like we, we can still do stuff if we draw, if we top deck nicely. It's not exactly what we're looking for. Kind of counting on our Viverlint to sneak in the poisonous once they finally get rid of this moment's piece, or we finally get rid of it by taking out this mnemonic wall. I'm already tired of this game. I can see where this is going. I don't want to sit here for ages trying to draw into a journey. Just want to make sure they're not saying anything. Hmm. Let's see what they reveal. Alchemy, alchemy. Can't do anything about it. So many mole drifters. Crazy. What can help us out this game, man? It's crazy. They're gonna mill themselves. <laughs> They're not careful. I'm just wondering when they're gonna feel comfortable to attack in. They gotta take out our spinneret. Uh, this has become a very weird board state. Let me guess. Yep. So that goes into exile. Hmm. 
I'm not gonna auto yield anything anymore because I don't want to miss anything that I need to vines. Impulse, look at the top four. Okay, sure, draw your cards. I wish I could have my fan on right now. I have a fan up here, but it messes up the audio when I turn it on. <sighs> you guys gotta have a way to close out this game here, man. Yep, flashback. I don't want to sit here until your time runs out, but, like, we have interaction, you know? They could be drawn into more of their protection or ghostly flickers. Who knows? Uh oh. It's a lot of mana being tapped. Can you kill me? Did they find the card? got <laughs> nothing what are you doing wow okay Yes, go ahead. Mm. So we got another two turns of moments peace, which is unfortunate. There's nothing I can do except make them use up their moments of peace. But we're just going to go to time here. Look at this. There you go. Triple poisonous. We can't do anything about it. Mm, big surprise. They have 11 cards in their deck. They're gonna mill themselves. <laughs> this is nutty. And I don't like it. Look, I don't want to be mistreating the MTGO format if they have some kind of combo that can just kill me that I'm unaware of, but like, what is their game plan here? I need to know. It's not like I've seen anything that shows me they can just continuously keep us at bay. They're going to mill themselves or run out of time.
feel like this isn't the most experienced Tron player either. They're having to... I mean, they're... They seem like they're playing all right, but like all this tapping and untapping just makes me question their ability to know their deck. But I mean, they're doing all this forbidden alchemy and stuff, and exiling it, trying to find their cards. But like, what are we looking for here with five minutes left and eleven cards? Oh, that storm, King Three Life. I mean, you can gain all the life you want, but we have you on poisonous once you run out of your moment of peace. I don't like that we're gonna win on time here. I mean, if they mill themselves, that's their own fault, and I'm fine with that. But like, they're just running out of time, and we're just sitting here with a beautiful board have them dead to rights except for their crazy combos but like I don't know where their finishing move is here we're just we've created such a dominant board state that they can't do anything to win the game except defend their life total yeah sure draw a card go down to nine sure draw a card go down to eight They have a horror. Oh, they dis they discarded a horror. Didn't realize they discarded a horror. But like, okay, another wall. <laughs> but they can still do flashback on the moment of peace. Unless they just want to take the moment of peace, put it back to their hands. They have it. They have it for another two turns. Like there's just a ridiculous amount of defense they have, but like to what end? They can't beat us. Knock on wood. Maybe they can, but I don't. I'm not seeing anything here. I want to like say something, but I don't even know what to say to this guy or gal. What do you say? What do you say? And they're taking ghostly flicker. They do that. another winding way so I can just play it out and see how it works. Everything they want goes back to their hand. Moment of peace goes back to their hand. <clears throat> you gotta play faster, man. Look, I want I I really do wanna see how you're supposed to win this game. I really do. I don't want you to run out of time here. Let me know in the comments if there's something I'm missing here that I don't want to be improperly rude to my opponent if they are like winning somehow that I'm unaware of. It just doesn't seem like they can win. They're just doesn't seem like they're letting me win either. It's just a stalemate. I don't know if I'm missing something, but if uh, if you know something about this Tron deck that I don't, let me know in the comments. Just seems like we're stalemating the board. Uh oh. Red. Uh oh. That's not good. 
We're about to see something crazy here. See, this is it. It took them this long to draw into probably some kind of crazy thing. They put me to eight life. Then what? Can they do it again? They got a minute left and then we go to game three? So confused. Can this get a uh, flashback? Mm, but they can bring it back to hand possibly? Maybe they just have one more in hand and that's what they're waiting for. So we return Rolling Thunder, and they can finish me off. That's their whole plan. But to what end? You've got 50 seconds. Like, good job. It, it literally took you to almost milling yourself to get to that Rolling Thunder. So that's their win condition. It's just, like, unreal that it took them this long. It's just crazy. It's just crazy. Give them the GG because, I mean, even if they beat us here, the game's over. It's an unfortunate way to win the game, win the match. I, I really, I honestly wish they could have drawn into that Rolling Thunder way sooner. But they're just going to try to, like, beat the time here or something. I wish they could have drawn into it further because I would have loved to see this go to game three and have it be a legitimate. But this was just a board stall till they pretty much milled themselves. And they're out of time. And we win the match. So. Not the proudest victory. I'm not super happy with that. Sitting here for 40 minutes watching them just stall us out. Uh only to have them have six cards left in their library before they can actually get their win condition. But I don't know, do you think that's fair? If we were in paper, would this have gone differently uh, as far as showing us the win condition and being like, yeah, like, you're dead? I don't know. I don't know if that would play out a little bit differently in paper. Uh, I mean, paper has a time on it too at some point, right? So, I don't know, at some point uh, they would have run out of time at paper. Um, so, maybe it's just unlucky that they couldn't draw into the Rolling Thunder fast enough, but it is, uh, unfortunate. Let's see if they said anything else. Not gonna show me the chat now? Not gonna show me the chat. Oh, well. Well, hopefully you guys enjoyed. I don't know, like I said, leave a comment below what you guys think of this match, and, uh, yeah, did they just get super unlucky and just can't find their win condition? It was just sitting at the bottom of their library, and that's why it was taking so long? Um... Yeah, I'm kind of... It's too late for me to think about this game any further, so hopefully you guys enjoyed uh, and enjoyed the new deck. We got to see some Winding Way action, even though it didn't do us anything good. But hopefully you guys are enjoying, and uh, I look forward to playing the new additions in the future as well. So leave a like on the video, and we will see you in the next one.